Proving that Welder is still one of the best cards ever printed, Sandy Storage VMAX won the first major online tournament of the Battle Styles format, and as you may have noticed already, it doesn't even have any new cards from Battle Styles. This deck from Liam Kidd defeated Victini VMAX in the finals, meaning that both of these will be top decks until we get a proper water threat, or definitely when Welder finally rotates in August. Until then, this is just your good old Senti Storch deck. While Victini VMAX can easily deal 220 damage for 2 energy, Senti Storch's damage is only capped by the amount of energy you have in your deck, so there's 11 energy in the deck, so you can easily one-shot everything, and that's the issue I had with Victini, is that you're stuck doing two shots on everything that's not a V. So if you're facing a VMAX, if you're facing Senti Storch with Victini, it's really tough to get a one-shot because you have to focus on pinging off your Senti Storch Vs, it, that's that was my downside with Vitini VMAX, but Senti Storch, no damage cap. You can do 400 damage if you really want to, and that's why I really like it. As you'd expect, you play the Volcanian with Flare Starter that if you go second, it just lets you get three energy into play, which is really powerful. And then you have the Reshizard, where is it? There it is, Double Blaze. You get three energy on this thing, you do 200 damage. If your opponent can't take a knockout on your Reshizard, you can use Outrage, deal a ton of damage for two energy. And then there is the Cramorant. So with Spit Shot, yes, you have to discard all energy, but you do 160 damage to one of your opponent's bench Pokemon or the active if you really want to do that. And the cool thing is you play the Zigzagoon and you play Scoop Up Net. So a Crobat V is suddenly in range of your attack. The deck is extremely consistent and there isn't that much else to say. Let's just see what happens today and I will try and get some matches against newer decks like Urshifu, but I mean, you never know what's going to happen when you when you queue up online. So let's find out. And with a coin flip win, I will go second because you can get a really powerful turn one if you start Volcanian and Senti Storch. Unfortunately, uh, this isn't going to be that great of a turn one because I don't got anything else, but I'll be able to... F hey, Sandy Storch Mirror! This could be very interesting. So I think I will... De oh, and they play in the Heat Energy. Okay. Oh, that's bad. Okay, so... I'll Flare Starter. I mean, they had a very weak turn one. I have a very weak turn two. Uh, I guess I could have attached energy to the active instead of going all three to the bench. But I, I think just going hard with Sandy Storch VMAX is the play here, because, you know, they're not going to Marnie me, that's for sure. Oh, what? What? Okay, that's weird, because the, the build of uh, Sandy Storch that I'm playing, it has two bosses orders and four welder, and that's it. No Marnie, no research. And this is good. So I think I can just take a knockout if I get enough energy. So I guess I... Guess I switch into Jirachi. I'll put the hearth down. Yes, I know that helps them, but it's better to help me than than not help them. I think. Do I Crobat first? Do I hearth away the Cramorant? I think. I think I Crobat first, and then if I don't get a Welder, oh, this is interesting. Because this hand is not great. Uh, the Great Catcher might be important later on, but if I just did Denny the hand, like there's nothing that I really need to keep. I can put the, I don't really want to put the Cramorant down because I might need that bench space for a Zigzagoon to ping that because that's just what I'll need. So I think, unfortunately, I think I have to sack the, I think I have to do that. I think I have to just get rid of everything. Okay, this did not work how I expected it to work. I will ditch the reset stamp, that's for sure. Get two energy out of the deck. Let's see. I prized three welder? Are you kidding me? I prized three welder. Well, that explains why I didn't get anything. And there's a bosses and a quick well, so I can go and get a Jirachi and just... Try that is that is insane. I prized three welder. Well, if I can figure out a way to pull this one out, that'll be insane. Prizing three welder. Uh, I always knew there'd be days like this, but let's see if we can push through it. Okay, so I will switch into. Actually, I think I'll scoop up. Which one's smarter, scoop up or switch? I think there is a, a correct way to do this. Come on, give me that welder. Yes, okay. So, oh man. 
So I got the well there, but I don't have the Sandy Scorch VMAX. So uh, this is going to be interesting. I think I just go for it. I just go for it and see what happens. Put two energy on the Senti Scorch. There we go. I think that'll be game. I think, because there's no way they can one-shot me. So it's it's 40 plus, so 40, 80, 120, 160, 200, 240, 280. And then with this attach, that is enough for a one-shot. And then I can use my Eldegoss to get the to get the one welder back if I don't get a welder off the prizes. So uh, unless they play Bikini V, if this is Senti Scorch Bikini, okay, there's welder. Let me guess, another welder. Okay, Poke Cup. So I should be good. You know, sometimes you just have to go for it, and just you just you're seeing the power of Senti Scorch Bikini V Max. Yes, it uh, it can do 220 for two energy to a V or V Max. In we're still in the GX format, unfortunately. So, you know, if, if you're hitting to a, G, a, a GX, then it, the Bikini VMAX becomes really bad. So that's why I said in my video, post-rotation, Bikini gets really good. Senti Scorch, not so much. And there's Giratina. So I think, I think now I just go and get another Senti Scorch. And if they have more heat energy, I definitely want to keep the Giratina. So I still get another Senti Scorch. I don't want to get the Reshizar just because, you know, what's the what's the point right now? Two energy in the discard, I think. Yeah, I'll just ditch that one. Do I even have any left? I have one left. Okay. So I will fire crystal, get all three back. I mean, yeah, that that's fine. Okie dokie, what do we got? We got a quick ball. So I need eight on this thing to be able to take a knockout on a Sandy Scorch VMAX. So if I quick ball that one away, go and get anything that I don't need. I don't think I need another Sandy Scorch V. So this way, if they somehow play another Marnie, then I'll be fine. Let me put that there. And so I'm all set. Oh, I don't even need to do it. So... I actually no, let's let's get it. Let, let's get the energy. I think that's the right play. That's another welder, of course it is. Just because if I have to do a retreat or something, because so they'll need seven energy, they cannot get seven energy on the Senti Scorch V. Even if they do welder attached, that's still six. They would need another one, so unless they play turbo patch, I'm totally fine. And you know, you're seeing the plus sides of Senti Scorch and the downsides of Senti Scorch. They're going for a burning train, okay. Uh, if I had a Senti Scorch VMAX, I would definitely switch, but I don't. So I'll just GMAX Sentiferno. Because so there's nothing I can do to like prep for next turn. It's just I gotta take this knockout and then I hope they don't reset stamp me. And if they do reset stamp me, I hope that I get a fire crystal. So all the welders are showing up. There we go. And the deck plays, I think, two fire crystal. And there's one there. So if this deck, like all my energy is on the field. The deck plays 11 energy. Hopefully it plays two fire crystal. Because if it doesn't, I'm in a very bad spot. Uh, but I, I can just knock out the, the Denny. So that's fine. I just need a Senti Scorch VMAX. Very simple. But yeah, you're seeing the positives. The positives with Senti Scorch is that it can deal a ton of damage. The negatives is that if you have two energy on a Senti Scorch VMAX, you're not doing a whole lot. Crushing Hammer. So the Victini VMAX, it's just, it has 310 HP. It can do 220 damage. This is horrible. Oh no. What is happening? Okay, please tell me I have a fire crystal. If I don't have a fire crystal, I think I just lose. Because I have no energy. So I will definitely search the deck. There's a hearth. Well, I'll hearth away the hearth. If I don't have a fire crystal, I do have a fire crystal. So that's what we're going for here. I can't thin the deck. So it's just a case of there's the fire crystal. So as long as I can get my... Dude, I'll be fine. And even if I... Oh no, I think I have to. I think I have to win this turn. If I had Reshizard, that'd be perfect, because I could 
I'd have to get Zig Zagoon as well, but I just, again, I'm just in a position where I, I gotta go for it. And I got the VMAX, that's awesome. So there's that. Am I doing enough? So 40, 80, 120, 160, 200. So I do have to, I do have to switch. Uh, actually, no, scoop up net? Yeah, I guess in case I get a scoop up net off of this, but I need to get a Galarian Zigzadoon. And there's a quick ball. So that'll be game. So, oh man. Very stressful. Was, was I was expecting a very simple game, but this ended up being stressful. But you saw you saw the plus size. You saw the downsides on my opponent's end, where you know Victini Vmax would have been the better option just because they were a little energy dry. You're seeing on my end where you just fill up a Sandy Storage Vmax, and suddenly you're swinging for big damage. Oh man, yeah, that's a victory. Great deck. I think I named it my. I think it was the best deck when Vivid Voltage came out and it's still the best deck. That's kind of disappointing, but Vitini VMAX is still really good. So I think just Welder is is the main driving force right now in the, in the standard metagame. Welder, attach up to two fire energy and then draw three. It is absolutely insane. Blacephalon did really well in the first tournament. Vitini, Senti Scorch. There were some Mewtwo decks. Well, there's just insanely good. Let's go to the next game and I will try to find a battle style deck like Urshifu. Let's find out. So my opponent let me go first. That's good if you start a Sandy Storage V in an energy, but I didn't. So my options here are extremely limited. I think I think I just burn the hand down as much as I can. So I'll switch. I could quick ball the boss's orders and get a Jirachi. Or I could get a Crobat, but Jirachi could get me Giant Hearth. I think I have to... I think Jirachi is the safe play. I need an energy, and I don't want to just completely burn the hand down. Because I don't want to lose both of my boss's orders. That just seems really bad. So I'll switch. Hope I get a Giant Hearth. If not, maybe I'll get a Pokecom or a Quick Ball. That's a switch. Okay, so we're just gonna... we're gonna try it again, and it looks like I'm burning the hand down anyway. Because I really want that energy attachment right off the bat, so I will, yeah, you know, just put that there. So maybe I shouldn't have been. Sometimes you have to be risky. I was risky in the first game. Well, now now I just have everything. So I think I Pokecom, the Sandy Storch V Max. I mean that doesn't guarantee me an energy. Hearth guarantees me an energy, but I'm down my bot. That you know what? You know what? You know what? I mean, they can knock out the Jirachi, that's the problem. I think they can knock out the Jirachi if they get the right energy, so I think going for Crobat makes the most sense. Crobat or Dedenny? I don't know, I'm going for Crobat. They're both weak to fighting anyway. But this is Urshifu, so that's good. I don't know which build of Urshifu it's going to be. There's there's a few different ones floating around. There's an energy. There's not really anything else I want to do. I have the Pokecom, the bosses. Yeah, that's that's good enough. So the advantage I have in this matchup is that I went first, so I will get I will get the first chance at the first V Max, so that's good. The downside is that uh, that was not a good turn one, and they have the is that the alternate art or the full art? And I I will be honest, I still don't quite know which one is which, which one has which attack. Single strike Urshifu, I think that's the the G Max one blow, right? There's the Marnie. Okay, all my good cards are on the bottom of my deck. That's exactly what I wanted. And so it looks like I'm going for another Crobat. Okay, so this isn't horrible. They they use laser focus. That is horrible. So I will I think I quick ball. Yeah, I'm gonna have to quick ball a welder, so I'll go get the Santi Storch VMAX first. Did that first. I will quick ball the welder for a crowbat. And then we'll see what I get, and hopefully I'm only one card short of a nice combo here. Let's get a crowbat. This could be this could be a really good crowbat, really bad crowbat. We're gonna find out. I still have a Dedenny left if I need it. And it is a horrible crowbat. So I will get rid of I think Vulcanian makes the most sense. Volcanian really, you know, it's necessary in the Decidueye matchup. It's really good at the beginning of the game. 
Now, if I could get some stoop up nets. Nope. Okay. So, Stellar Wish. There's a welder. I don't really want to get rid of the hand. So, this is just a really. I think, yeah, I think I just have to hope that they don't have like a bosses or something. So I will quick ball the Jirachi. I'll go get a Sandy Scorch V. And I prize Rush I don't even think Rush Zero would be a good idea in this matchup anyway. They don't have any special energy on their dude. Do 180. I think I'm in the clear. I'm just going to guess attach the energy, so I'm going to have to try and one-shot Nurshifu VMAX. If if things work out the way I think they're going to work out, Sandy Scorch VMAX is going to survive. If they target my Sandy Scorch VMAX and it gets knocked out, that's really bad. So we're just going to have to wait and see. But I don't think, you know, if, if the tables were turned and this was Victini VMAX, it wouldn't really matter because Victini VMAX has 310 HP, G-Max 1 Blow does 270, you put two single strike energy on Inertia you're one-shotting the Victini, you're not one-shotting Sandy Storch, it'll have 10 HP left. The downside, obviously, is that you have to put all your energy on Sandy Storch V-Max to take a knockout, whereas Victini, you just put two. Yes, you have to two-shot it, but that's still fine. And what are they doing? Are they sacking? Oh, they're just preparing. Preparing for the worst here. Okay, so it's really good that I didn't uh, put down to Denny. They had the Great Catcher. I also have Great Catcher. And yeah, G-Max one blow, discard all energy. They can't take a one shot. They'd have to put too much energy on it. Okay, that's fine. Tower of Darkness, great card. Just draw two, discard a single strike. Single strike, right? Yeah, okay. So I am going to need a couple things. That's really good. So I think what I do is I ditch the energy because I can get it back with Fire Crystal. I ditch the energy and that way it's also in there for the VMAX. All right, so I need a scoop up net. How many scoop up nets have I used? Just one, should be great, good to go. Nothing's gonna go wrong. Nothing ever goes wrong when I play this deck, right? Well, the Denny, you're, you're standing by for battle. Okay, right, because, let's see, so 40, hang on, hang on, 40, 80, 120, 160, 200, 240, 283, 20, so I, I need a scoop up net. If I don't get a scoop up net, I lose. So we are going to Denny, I need a scoop up net. That is a scoop up net, it's not game over, I win. Hopefully, hopefully this works out for me. The reset stamp doesn't really make sense. Losing the fire crystal is horrible. But again, just like in game one, you're seeing exactly why Sandy Switch Max is so insane. I don't need to do any shenanigans with Zigzagoon next turn. They're in a position where their main attacker gets one shot by my Pokemon, and they have to attach three single strike energy to this thing to take a knockout. But in order to attach the extra single strike energy, they have to use Houndoom. Houndoom's ability puts two damage counters on the Pokemon. So they're damaging their own Urshifu just to knock out my Senti Scorch. And they have to get rid of all of their energy. And then if they use Urn of Vitality to put the special energy back in the deck, they'll have to put more damage counters on it. And and that's game. Because they couldn't find an Urshifu VMAX, so that's good. I will... Just attach. I think I will save. I'll save the Cramorant, I think, just in case. And I'll ditch the Volcanian. And just, I think, I think that's fine. If they, uh, if they get rid of anything, that's just gonna, if they marn me, that's only gonna put all the good cards on the bottom of my deck. All right, so. Scoop up net, scoop up net, or scoop up net, Reshizard. They have to do some crazy things. They need to play Urn of Vitality, put their energy back into the deck. Uh, they can use Darkness Fang, but they need to do 100 damage, and I don't think that's going to be enough. And they had to get rid of a energy. I don't think... Okay, they just wanted to check their deck, I guess. So Urn of Vitality puts two single strike energy back in their deck. 
they act, they can take a knockout on Sandy Storage VMAX. They would have to Marnie me. So what they have to do, they have to Marnie me out of all my energy. They have to attack. Oh, okay. They can still use Impact Blow, so that's good. But they're using Research. I have Boss's Orders. I have Energy, so I can just knock out a, a Hound Hour, and that's game. So I finally faced Urshifu. You saw Sandy Storch take a win. That was very convincing. Again, Sandy Storch VMAX. You put enough Energy on this thing for GMAX sent to Ferno. You're taking a one-shot against every Pokemon out there. It's really good. Let's go to game three, and I'll try again for a Battle Styles matchup, but y you never know. So this is this is exactly how you draw it up. My opponent won the coin flip. They decided to go first, so I'm going second. You start Volcanian. You put Sandy Storch down. And is this just going to be... Oh, please tell me this is Primeape or something. Oh, man. This could be like Primeape, Spiritomb. There's a Spiritomb, so I think... What's the game plan here? So this is definitely, I can't be autopilot facing a VMAX. I think I want send, I want Spiritomb to win, okay? I, I was the first to jump on the Spiritomb bandwagon, bandwagon when it first came out. And anytime I lose the Spiritomb with a, a big deck, I'm really excited. But I think Vulcanian is going to be very important. That is kind of unfortunate, but... Should be okay, so I don't have any way to spread damage. I could just use Radiating Heat, but that doesn't seem very good. Uh, high Heat Blast is fine, so there's an energy. I think I just f Flare Starter, or do I... No, I think I Pokemon Communication, the Crobat. Go get my other Volcanian. Uh, I have Cramorant if they ever put down like a Crobat or a Dedenny. Uh, Eldegoss could actually be something that sees play this game, which is kind of funny because you, you put two energy on the Eldegoss and all of a sudden it's really good. So Flare Starter, three energy, I think. One there and then two there on the back one, just in case, because they can take a knockout on Volcanian next turn. They're definitely prepared for that, but I have a good hand. Any hand where you have a quick ball and you have a Crobat in your deck or a Dedenne in your deck, it's fine, that's why everyone plays them. But looking at the Sunday Open, there were just over 300 players, and uh, looking at the results, I will say the Victini performed far better than I thought it would. And some other interesting things is that Picaram was pretty much non-existent, most likely because everyone thought Urshifu would, you know, be highly represented, and it, it was represented, it just didn't do very well. None of the Urshifu builds really... I don't even think they crafted top 10. I think there was like one in 11th and one in 15th. And then the rest didn't do so great. But, you know, ADP was was there. Uh, Senti Storage, Vettini. And it's kind of funny because ADP, the, I think the top ADP deck threw in a Mewtwo and Mew. So that was kind of funny seeing a Mewtwo and Mew in an ADP deck just because, again, Urshifu. But Urshifu, if, you know, they're scared about the Psychic Weakness, they'll just play the Jirachi GX that removes Psychic Weakness. But, you know, I think everyone was worried that Urshifu would be the big thing. So people, you know, they, they didn't really play Eternatus as much. They didn't play Picarum. And then to fill that void, Welder and its consistency and Senti Storch being able to take a big knockout and Vitini being able to knock out Vs, that was kind of the, the highly represented deck. And please tell me you find an energy. I don't want to, I don't want to end this video on this. No okay, well, they, they definitely have an energy. So they're going to take a knockout. I think, yeah, because I think they realize that they don't have a knockout here, so they have to use Jinx and Spiritomb. So what I need to do is just attack with Volcanion. Uh, I think Reshizard would be really good in this as well. Spike Myth is a bit annoying, but this deck plays so many stadiums. Okay, so I will just attack with Volcanion. That's pretty simple and straightforward. And I'll definitely take out the one that has the most damage on it. So they're going to have to go through two Volcanians first. I have Senti Storch. I could Pokecom. I think I'll just Quick Ball away the switch. Go get, I guess, Crobat? Because I don't want Jirachi on the field. That's just easy pickings. Crobat's a bit tougher. I mean, do I... 
Do I even take the chance that I put down a Crobat? Because I can just bosses that and knock it out later on in the game. And I kind of want them... No, I think I'll take the chance. I think this will be the only Pokemon that I put on the bench that isn't another Senti Scorch V or a Reshizard. Okay, that was close. So I think here I just get Senti Scorch V Max, or do I just go for Senti Scorch V? Because that's kind of cool. Uh, so I can Hearth, I can Pokecom. I have Scoop Up Net. I don't need the Scoop Up Net. I think Senti Scorch V is probably pretty good. Because then I can just bounce between them and I force them to get a bosses. And I don't need to put much energy on the Senti Scorch V Max, that's for sure. So this is definitely forcing me to think, which I don't like. I don't enjoy thinking. And I'll definitely ditch the scoop up net, get two energy, put the two energy on the Sandy Scorch V, and hope I get either a Pokemon or a Sandy Scorch V Max, or both. So I think I just, eh, I'm not really worried. Let's just high heat blast, see what they got. And there's my first prize. So it's what I talked about a lot in my videos is you want to count your opponent's prizes for them. So they have five prizes left. They'll most likely knock out Volcanion if they even, they'll have to get a Spike Myth or, you know, a Spiritomb, Spiritomb. Uh, that's interesting. Oh no, never mind. I was thinking about something else there. So they need to get a few things. Yeah, there, there's one of the pieces there. They need a Spike Myth and there we go. So I still have Great Catcher. I can knock out that to Denny pretty much at any point. I just need three energy on a Senti Scorch and my Great Catcher and I'm good. So again, they'll knock out Volcanion, go to four prizes, and then I'll just probably tank with Senti Scorch for two turns. If they bosses my Crobat and they knock that out, that's fine. They'll still have to two-shot a Senti Scorch VMAX at some point. So that's the reason why I don't want to put Denny down or anything is because they can bosses my Crobat, which is bad, and knock that out, and then they go to after they... So, get a little ahead of myself. They knock out the Volcanion, go to four prizes, then say they knock out the Crobat, go to two prizes. If I put Denny down, they're just a great catcher knockout onto Denny for game. If I don't bench anybody else, they have to knock out a Sandy Scorch VMAX to win, uh, assuming I can evolve this next turn, but I want them to have to knock out a Sandy Scorch VMAX because they cannot one-shot a Sandy Scorch VMAX. So that's the big trouble for them. So just, you want to make your opponent's life as tough as possible if you can, and against the single prize deck, it's a lot easier because it's really tough for single prize decks to, you know, pick and choose who they want to knock out because they have so many moving pieces. Like, Baby Blacephalon, that's down to two Blacephalon. And they, I think one of the top decks at the Sunday Open now plays Vatini VMAX plays Reshizard, and just two Baby Blacephalon. Okay. I hope they know that I can knock that out. So I'll do that. Uh, I guess I put the Hearth down just to make their life a little bit tougher. And I will put the Denny back in the deck, go get a Sandy Scorch VMAX. And since there's energy in the discard, that's fine. So I'll just get rid of the Sandy Scorch V. So the thinking part of this matchup is over. It's just, do I draw the right cards the rest of the way? Do they draw the right cards the rest of the way? So just GMAX sent Inferno, take a knockout, and it's basically whether or not they win this game is up to them. It's not up to me anymore. I'm on autopilot. They have to knock out two Pokemon to win, and at least one of those is going to have to be a Sandy Storch GMAX. So I know this Crobat looks tantalizing, but... You knock out my Crobat, oh well, you know, best case scenario, I force them to knock out two Sandy Scorch VMAX, but I think they'll be able to find a way. It's just they have, I'm going to take a knockout every single turn, and they have this Juicy to Denny where two prizes right here. If I can just knock that out, I think it's guaranteed. Because let me, let me run through the scenario here. To, let's say they knock out Crobat V this turn. Somehow they, they managed to do it. It's very unlikely, but let's say they knock out Crobat V, and then they go down to two prizes. They will have to two-shot one of these guys. Okay, that's not who I would have put up there. Okay, there's Bird Keeper. 
And then I would knock out their spear tomb. I'd go down to three prizes. They would have to two shot. I don't, I don't know. It's going to be, I think my win probability is like 80% right now. It's got to be really high for my win probability just because spear tomb is great, but with the loss of rainbow energy, it it's just not as good. You know, spike myth is okay. That's I'll just switch to my other Sandy Scorch Max. And there's Spike Myth. You know, Spike Myth helps, but Rainbow Energy was just so much better. The, the escape rope is for them, it's not for me. So they'll put some damage on me. I mean, I could just retreat and just soak up the two damage. And then just reattach the energy. Okay, so they're going to try and buy some time with the least poked at all. I mean, they haven't really... Okay, they're just they're just building up that damage. That's fine with me. Uh, I hope they realize that I have a Zigzagoon. And if I can find it... If I top deck a scoop up net, then... I mean, that's pretty much game, right? So, let's see. Because they're going to put 40 on this. If I just put a Zigzagoon down, ping it, a scoop up net... Put it down, ping it, and then knock out whatever they put uh, on the in the active. I'm fine, but you're just seeing why I like Senti Scorch so much. It's just it's so good, you know. Yeah, it has its down. Okay, well that's a huge mistake on their part. So, well, I mean it's not a huge mistake. It puts me at half health. There's bosses, so I think yeah. This this is I think this is checkmate because. I'm gonna, well, let's, hang on. Let's make sure I have my Zigzagoon first. I don't. Well, that is, uh, that's unfortunate. So I think I still do the same thing. Uh, what do I, what do I want? I want, I think I want boss's orders. So I'll go get Eldegoss. I think I still bosses the Denny. Cause I'm doing 40, 81, 21, 60. So I bosses the Denny. Put the energy there, and I have a 50-50 chance, right? 50-50 chance of getting a Zigzagoon. That is my whole game plan here. There's Zigzagoon. Okay, don't worry me. And the reason you play Zigzagoon is because it helps with the math. You know, you play four, I think four scoop up net in the deck. You play Zigzagoon. You have the Giratina. You have Jirachi. There's just so many options you have. And, of course, the one scenario where Zigzagoon would just be a game-saving card, a game-winning card, is prized. Isn't that always the case? The card you always need is always prized, but this was a good game. Yeah, they, they see it. I think they see it now that... Or they're going to try and use Spike Myth. Yeah, I think they might retreat into the Poke Doll. So they're preparing for next turn. This is what they're doing right here. They're preparing for next turn, trying to get some damage built up. Uh, okay. Well, that is a well played. They couldn't get a Cape of Toughness down. So what I will do is... I'll Eldegoss for the bosses. Yeah, I won't I won't make them do any Poke Doll shenanigans. I'll just... Eldegoss for the bosses. Knock out the Jirachi. Zigzagoon. Ping. And so this was great. Yeah, see, one prize left. They they pulled it out right at the end there with that uh, crazy play. But if Zigzagoon wasn't prized, they wouldn't have been able to take that knockout. So great game, great final game. Unfortunately, I had to beat Spiritium to do it. But Sandy Scorch VMAX, it's amazing. Even in a brand new format without any even new cards from Battle Styles, it's still really, really good. Let me know your thoughts on Sandy Scorch below. Let me know, do you think Vitini is better? Do you think Sandy Scorch is better? Do you think Sandy Scorch is overrated? Let me know your thoughts. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.